The National Center for Biotechnology Information Study found that entitlement attitudes are associated with lower satisfaction with life and higher incidence of abuse in romantic relationships. According to the American Psychological Association, studies suggest that women are more likely to be the perpetrators of psychological abuse in intimate relationships. Baby trapping through deceit certainly qualifies as psychological abuse. Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of keys to today's Tome of Wisdom. Today's episode, Baby Trapping Epidemic, The Twisted Motivations Behind Baby Trapping Men. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy the ride together. We need to have a real talk, gentlemen, about this disturbing trend of women baby trapping men through deceptive means. From poking holes in condoms to lying about birth control. Some ladies are entrapping unsuspecting dudes into unwanted fatherhood. And let's be honest, it's some next level craziness that needs to stop. This devious phenomenon points to larger underlying issues plaguing modern women, namely insecurity, entitlement, lack of accountability, and plummeting happiness rates. Data shows overall self-reported happiness has declined by 10% in females in Western nations since the turn of the century. Perhaps chronically disempowering decision-making like baby trapping is one of the factors. As author Christian Hoff Summers puts it, Many young women have been betrayed by contemporary assumptions of privileged victimhood. They are abandoning the traditional role of nurturers and becoming unbridled egotists. You know, guys, you simply can't have healthy relationships or lasting joy when you're governed by jealousy and using kids as weapons. According to the study published in the American Psychological Association's Journal of Psychological Bulletin, narcissistic entitlement and perceived privilege were associated with anger, perceived exploitation in relationships, and undermining of partners' efforts. So let's dig in and count down the top 10 shameless reasons women deceive men into unwanted pregnancies and parenthood according to their own admissions. Number 10. I thought a baby would help us feel closer. Some deluded women buy into the fantasy that having a child will magically save their crumbling relationship. A uh, spoiler alert, it won't. A baby only adds more stress and sleepless nights to a struggling union. If your relationship is in a bad place, then the smart move is counseling, not putting a kid in a broken situation. Number nine, I stopped taking the pill and never told him. The height of laziness and deception. If you're too irresponsible to handle basic birth control, you've got no business risking an unplanned pregnancy. The dude's going to feel utterly betrayed when he finds out you stopped taking the pill without warning to have his kid. Congratulations, the hostage situation has been accomplished. Number eight, I just wanted him to love me. 
trying to force love through having a trapped baby is pretty self-defeating. The resentment and breach of trust will kill any chance of a genuine intimate bond forming. At best, he'll stick around physically while emotionally checking out. This is not the foundation for romance you dreamed of. Number seven. He said he'd never leave me if I got pregnant, so I did it to test him. Wow. Just wow. Using an innocent child as a real life lie detector test. Now there's a rational thought process, huh? If the relationship is so distrustful, you need to pull wildly ethical stunts to verify his commitment, it's already over. Have fun co-parenting through this emotional minefield. Number six, I got pregnant because he was going to leave. The classic frantic move to try locking him down before he exits stage left but having a baby to save a doomed relationship is incredibly selfish and misguided. You can't trap traction, affection, or commitment. He may stick around under duress, but good luck cultivating a happy family built on manipulation. As cultural critic Camille Pagula states, there is no female Mozart because there is nothing feminine about transcendent genius. Stay with me as we are halfway to number one. But second, help me build this channel with a quick thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell and leave a comment. Number five, if I have his baby, he'll be tied to me forever. Money and status remain huge motivators for baby trappers, banking on a rich, successful partner. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's only tied financially if she's lucky. The naive dream of forcing his eternal devotion dies once the child support payments start. Not exactly the glamorous life many hope for, huh? Number four. I removed the condom so I could get pregnant by him. A favored baby trapping maneuver of the boldest con artists, sabotaging the birth control to get knocked up without his knowledge. Some women have admitted to poking holes in condoms, flushing male contraceptives, or simply lying about being on the pill. This is unbelievably unethical. According to the American Psychology Association, studies suggest that women are more likely to be the perpetrators of psychological abuse in intimate relationships. Baby trapping through deceit certainly qualifies as psychological abuse. Number three, he never wanted kids, so I told him it was an accident. For some selfish women, having a baby overrides any concerns about their partner being on the same page. They simply get pregnant through trickery and pass it off as an unwanted surprise to saddle him with the responsibility he never agreed to. Utterly shameless breach of trust and consent. Number two. I had a one night stand so I could get pregnant. The calculated baby trappers often go to amazing lengths to get impregnated by an unwitting target. Some have admitted to engaging in carefully planned one night stands, likely tracking ovulation cycles to maximize their chances of conception from their selected sperm donor. Afterward, they simply ambush the unsuspecting guy with the life-altering baby news. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, a study found that entitlement attitudes are associated with 
lower satisfaction with life, and higher instance of abuse in romantic relationships. Before I reveal number one, take the time to leave a comment below. And the number one position. I wanted a baby more than he does, so I took out my IUD. The number one reason for deceitful impregnation, being a selfish jerk who prioritizes their desire for a child over their partner's wishes or consent. These narcissistic women simply discard birth control like IUDs or implants on the sly to get knocked up against their man's will. Utterly psychopathic behavior with lifelong impacts. In the end, the baby trapping phenomenon is rooted in a toxic stew of factors. Immaturity, lack of self-control, entitlement complexes, and rampant disregard for accountability or boundaries. Bringing new life into this world through premeditated deceit is an incredibly selfish act and emotionally handicaps the child from the start. For those of you crying, well, the man should have been more careful too, that's somewhat true in terms of protection responsibilities. And conscious premeditation and entrapment are infinitely more insidious than negligence. Let's not turn this into a Sharknado sequel, okay ladies? At the end of the day, healthy relationships and families require two fully committed consenting partners, not reproductive hostage situation that requires the FBI hostage rescue team. The baby trappers are embarking on a guaranteed path to resentment, broken homes, and loneliness. Have fun explaining that shady origin story to your kids someday. Long-term happiness requires self-awareness and a personal responsibility, not soulless biological warfare designed as a love trap. If you found value in this video, Please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this and my channel with at least two friends who need to see it. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or check out my memes. Otherwise, subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up.